Hi everyone, this is Dora B. I am an AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate and I am uh, an AWS Community Builder here in Tunisia. Today we are going to talk about building a Kubernetes cluster on AWS the easiest way. Uh, we are going to build an Amazon EKS uh, cluster, which is uh, the Kubernetes cluster provided by AWS. We're going to use a tool, an uh, open source tool called EKS CTM. So let's get started by explaining why we are doing this. We are doing this because uh, EKS CTL uh, gives you the privilege of building a Kubernetes cluster, let's say three nodes, one master node and two worker nodes. It's gonna take uh, just one command basically and uh, 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, it's gonna take some time. Well, uh, EKS CTL uses uh, cloud formation. That's the reason why you have to enable uh, you're going to create an AMI uh, user and you have to give it the privilege to use, uh, of course, uh, CloudFormation. So uh, what is CloudFormation? Let's have a small click. Well, CloudFormation is just uh, like a various today, tool today called, um, called uh, Terraform. CloudFormation gives you the privilege to create whatever you want in a first structure, for example, a Kubernetes cluster in our case, but while using code. So it's uh, infrastructure as, as a code. So we have a code, we run it, we have our um, infrastructure as we need it. So I really advise you guys to have a look to the service. Uh, and two, this is if the service uh, infrastructure as a code given by AWS. The equivalent of this is Terraform, which is uh, which works for AWS, for Azure, for Google Cloud, for all of them. Now, uh, this is the report I've wrote it uh, about all the steps that are required to uh, install. Uh, to uh, create a Kubernetes cluster, uh, EKS cluster with EKS CTL. Uh, I've been working with my second uh, distribution, which is Kali Linux, because I have really, uh, I, I do have a project about uh, securing uh, Amazon EKS. But today I'm gonna give you a demo about how to uh, go do this with uh, with, with Windows OS. So let's get started. So for those who have Linux distribution, I really give you a promise I'm gonna do this again for uh, Linux users. But anyways, no worries. I have already done this and I wrote uh, everything with screenshots for my work here in the report that I'm gonna share with you uh, guys. So uh, let's start now. A shock about how we're gonna build the EKS cluster the easiest way. Please, I really recommend that you use an IAM user, which is not the root that you create an IAM user in here, and you don't use the root account. Keep the root account for critical and important tasks. Um, Using root account is not recommended at all. Well, I have. Okay. So here you have users. And you can add users here. You can see me. I've done this uh, AEM user just to show you uh, how to work on it. And you get add users, and you can create it. Give it a password. For example, geek one here. Now you can see, guys, two types of uh, AWS credentials. Uh, first one is access key, and the second one is uh, programmatic access. 
and the second one is the AWS Management Console Access. So here you're going to have a password and a username and a URL that you're going to use to sign in to this console that you see already. But this one, Programmatic Access, is uh, used in case uh, you want to manage your AWS account with your console remotely, uh, you gonna you you will be provided by an access key ID and secret access key ID. This method is the really uh, this method is very used by programmers and by those who have a console and don't want to don't 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 really need to uh, deal with this uh, graphical user interface you see here so you select the one that you need for example this one and you go to permissions so here in permissions you need uh, to um, give the privileges to the, the your user so here i have already the group admin created if you're gonna see the group admin, which 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 is uh, which has already its own privileges, its own. Please remark that I gave it uh, an AWS CloudFormation full access because uh, IKEASTL needs CloudFormation to build uh, the cluster. I gave it access for IKEAS cluster for. Um, Maybe I'm gonna need S3. Uh, I'm, I gave it uh, EC2 full access. Uh, I will use LDS. So uh, LDS, by the way, it's uh, the relational database service given by AWS. Uh, so uh, those are the permissions I gave to the group. So now all I have to do is to uh, make the user that I just created part of admin group. Next, you're gonna give tag, tag, which means that you may be uh, this user called Geek One, uh, belongs to the group of uh, developers, belongs to the group of, uh, I don't know, maybe admins, maybe uh, this tag, this key and value helps you to visualize, to have a clear visualiza visualization about the the user, the group it belongs to, etc. Now you can see clearly that they have a username, geek1, the access type, AWS access type is pro programmatic access, and the group uh, permission group that it belongs to is um, admins. So, so now it's creating. Here is a very critical step. You have to download this one. And this one contains the URL, as I said, just like this one, that helps you to log in and contains the access key ID and the secret, secret access key with which that you're gonna log into the account as Geek1. So now I'm not gonna need it. So you're gonna go again. We're gonna, gonna see the users. You can see that It's just created Geek one and here how I delete it. Geek one. Wait. Ta da user geek one deleted. So as I said, the most important step to not have problems while installing the IKEAS cluster. Um, is to give those privileges for your user.